One. Women in the War by Jeannie, Brandy, and Tessa. When you think about the war, most people think about men fighting. But do you stop and think about what the women did? Many women served as entertainers, nurses, and some were even spies. Many women would come to camps to sing for men. One such woman was Hetty Carey. She was born in Richmond, Virginia. She visited the Confederate Army in Northern Virginia. Her audiences liked one song in particular called Maryland, My Maryland. The song was about trying to get Maryland to join the South. A famous nurse was Clara Barton, who headed a major private relief effort to provide medicine and supplies to Union troops during the Civil War. She organized warehouses to accept donations of supplies she spent the entire Civil War collecting and distributing, distributing medical and other supplies. She removed bullets, bandaged wounds, comforted soldiers, dis distributed supplies, and helped whoever she could. Another star was Sarah Emma Edmonds. Her fake name was Frank Thompson. She worked for Confederates. She made lots of disguises. She dyed her skin black, wore a black wig, and walked in the, into the Confederacy disguised as a black man. Another time she dressed as an Irish peddler. She died from malaria on September 5th. One spy was Rose O'Neill Greenhow. She was born in Maryland and came to Washington, D.C. at age 16. After her husband died, she continued to entertain. Rose continued to live in the North, but was for the South. She told Northerners it was because Washington was her home, but she secretly wanted to serve her nation, the Confederacy, as a spy. Rose found out that General Irvin McDowell and his army of 30,000 had plans to march on Confederate troops. She sent two messages relying the Union plans. Her messages gave General Pierre G.T. Beauregard the information he needed to prepare the Union for attack. On July 21st, the rebels beat back the Federal forces in the first battle of the Civil War. A month later, she was arrested for suspicious papers. Later, Jefferson Davis had a job for her in Europe. She accomplished her mission, and on her way home, the ship she was on was ground by Union boats spying. Rose tried to escape in a rowboat, but it collapsed, and she drowned. It was said that she was dragged underwater by gold coins sewn in her dress and that she was bringing back to the South. She was buried with full military honor. So although the women didn't fight, or at least most of them, they still played a huge part in the Civil War. From bringing cheer to the army camps, to healing the wounded, to dressing up as a man fighting, to spying on the other side,